Some smiling faces again. Um, I think proof and evidence that uh, vaccines work, and I hope that the um, American people will see this and understand that vaccines are safe and effective. And the best thing that we can do to get this pandemic behind us is to get everybody vaccinated. Uh, in South Dakota, vaccine rates are high, the unemployment rate is low, and the kids are back in school. And we're glad that the rest of the country is starting to catch up. Um, but what I see happening with the current administration and many of their policies is they're moving further and further to the left and making it harder and harder uh, for the country to get back on its feet economically. And I think uh, there are several pieces of evidence about that. One is the inflation rates, the highest that it's been in 12 years, which means that uh, everything from the food you put on the table to the energy you, you use in your home to uh, you know, purchasing a, a used car, all those things, everything is going up. It's more expensive for people in this country. Uh, secondly, you had in the month of March 8.1 million job openings, and yet the April employment report recorded that only 266,000 people got jobs, uh, meaning that there is a huge gap, a huge disconnect between the number of jobs available out there and the people who are actually uh, wanting to go back to work. And one of the reasons for that is the Biden administration has adopted to put policies pl in place and keep policies in place uh, that make it harder and harder for uh, businesses to compete with the federal government. The unemployment rate increase, which has been locked in now until September, is making it harder and harder for employers across this country to hire. And that's going to continue to, you're going to continue to see that un uh, unemployment rate tick up until that changes. And so I hope that the administration will realize that there are radical policies, the very leftist policies on the economy, whether it's a massive amount of spending, the, the proposed tax increases which would kill jobs in the economy, are not the right policies. That if we would stick to and adhere to the pro-growth policies that uh, were in place prior to their arrival uh, at, the, at the White House, that uh, we were seeing our economy grow and expand at the fastest rate in generations. And those are the types of policies we think need to be in place, and hopefully the administration will come to that conclusion.